Hey guys, and welcome to another T-Shock video. I'm using T-Shock for Terraria, and in this video I'm going to be going over groups and permissions. So, the first thing you want to do is you want to download the SQLite browser, and I'm going to give you the link for this download. And it's right here, it is a zip file, so you will have to extract it somewhere. So after you download and extract it, I have mine on my desktop, by the way. You just want to go into the folder, and on the bottom, you see the application. Go ahead and double click it. And then for the folder open icon, you want to click that. And then you want to navigate to wherever your T-Shock folder is. Now mine's on the desktop. Okay, so here it is, T-Shock. And in my T-Shock subfolder, I will find this file called tshock.sqlite. This is my database file. This stores users, groups, permissions, warps, bands, item bands, things like that. So you want to open up that file. Okay. And I'm going to maximize this just so we can see it a little bit better. So under browse data, that's what you want to click. You'll see this drop down list right here. You want to go to group list. And here you can see the six groups that T-Shock creates by default. Now I want to explain to you a little bit about groups and their permissions, so I'm just going to slide this bar over and to increase the size of that field. So when people first join your server, they're going to be in the guest group, and the guest group is given these permissions right here. Okay, And if you're not sure what these permissions mean or what they do, I'm going to give you the link to the T-Shock commands and permissions list so you can understand exactly what these are. And if you ever edit or change um, these permissions, you want to make sure you follow the common format that T-Shock uses, which is permission and then a comma, no space, and then another permission and then a comma. Okay. So if we wanted to edit this field right here and change the permissions for the guest group, we just double click it and this window comes up. And if I drag this window bigger, you can see all the permissions here. So you can add or subtract any permissions that you want. Then you hit apply changes to save it to that field. So I want to explain to you a little bit about the way parenting works. Okay, So for this default group, if you choose guest group as its parent, what it means is that the default group will inherit all the guest group's permissions. Okay? Plus it will have any permissions that we add on this line right here. Okay? So that's the way that works. Default group inherits guest permissions um, plus these permissions. So now you understand the way groups work, their permissions and parenting. So now I'm going to show you how to create a new group. So if you click new record up in the corner, you see this uh, new line appears. So for the group name, we're going to double click it. And this is going to be the name of the new group. I'm going to name this group Citizen. Hit apply changes. Now for the parent group, because I don't feel like typing out every individual permission I want to give this group, because I pretty much want it to be just like the the default group, I'm just going to inherit the permission from the default group. Hit apply changes. Now if I wanted to add any additional permissions other than what the default has, then I could do that here. Now for the chat color, this follows the format of red, green, blue. So if you just do a Google search for RGB, RGB chart, you might find one similar to the one I found. Now you notice every color has three numbers associated with it. That would be the red, the green, and the blue saturation. Those are the numbers that we need. So I'm going to do this uh, green color right here. So 0, 153, 0. So if I just double click this chat color field, And I'm using commas because T-Shock uses commas, not periods. Okay, so now red, green, blue. Hit apply changes. 
Okay, and now you successfully created the group. Before you go any further, make sure you save it up in the corner. Okay, so now our group has been saved. So, um, just a quick explanation on what happens um, with your guest and default group. A lot of times I get questions, um, how do I change what group people are in when they register on my account? Because right now, the way T-Shock is set up, when people make an account on your server, they're going to automatically be put in this default group. And if you don't want to put in this default group and you want to put into the citizen group, well, then you need to make a change, and I'll show you where to make that change. So I'm going to leave this open just so we can see what we're doing. And you're going to go into your T-Shock folder. And in the T-Shock subfolder, you will find the config.json. You can edit this with Notepad. I have Notepad++. Either one is fine. I'm just going to snap these to the edges so you can see exactly what we're doing. So on line 47, you'll see default registration group name. And it's set to default. So when people make an account, like I said, it goes to default. But now we want it to be citizen. So I'm just going to delete this default group. Careful not to make any other changes into the in the config file. So now they will register to the group citizen. Now you can also notice that the default guest group name is guest. So if you wanted them to go into a different group when they're not logged in, then you could change that here or create an, another group. Sometimes I'll add a group called nobody and it'll be uh, just like the guest group. So and I'll put nobody right here. So they're in the group called nobody. Um, but they're not logged in. And then when they log in or create an account, then they become a citizen. Anyway, I hope this video helps. Um, if you don't know how to edit your config file or make changes or, or know what any of these things are, these other ones, um, I made a video on explaining that. But make sure you save this config file when you're done. And now you're ready to go and run your server. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys.